Hi, I'm going to share with you an introduction to Psalm 121. This is a pilgrim psalm. This is a psalm as God's people are traveling along uh, on the journey of life. Traveling to uh, a place where God wants to meet with them. And so uh, it's a promise. It's a promise to us as God's people that he will be with us, that he will be our helper. The title is Help from the Holy Hill and the Heavens. Let me read it to you. It's just eight short verses. It says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will never slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. What an encouragement. We all need help in life. We need God to intervene. We need divine deliverance. We need spiritual empowerment. We need spiritual discernment in our lives. We need our path cleared for us. We need a level path to go forward. And so I think we all as humans need to acknowledge that this world is so much bigger than us and the forces in this world are so much greater than us that we all need divine uh, help in our lives. We need God. And so he promises that help. He promises help from the hill meaning from the temple, from where he resides, from his presence. He promises help because of his holiness. Help comes from our creator because it's the nature of God to help us. Help comes from our hurts. Help comes when we fall down, this psalm tells us. Help comes before hell hits. Help comes quickly when we need it. God never sleeps never slumbers. Day and night, God will come. Help comes from the heat, from the sun, when, the, when it's hot, when, when things in our life are just seeming to burn things up. And help comes from the heaven. And any time of day, God's going to promise to help us. And help from harm. Help comes before harm comes is the promise in this psalm. And we need it before harm. God comforts us after we've been harmed and we've been hurt. But we want to be protected from that harm, don't we? Absolutely. And help comes during hardship. Help comes on the journey of life. This is a great psalm. God is with us to help us in our comings and our goings. Throughout the practices of our life, throughout our daily walk, God is there. A few questions that you can uh, discuss are, do you readily ask for God's help in your life or are you more prone to rely on yourself? We all have a tendency and too often our tendency is to take things into our own hands, take control of things and try to solve everything ourselves. And our first tendency, our first move should be to go to God in prayer and ask for his divine guidance and help. What areas of your life do you need God's help the most? And how does God help you? How has he helped you in the past? So to confirm that he will help you in the future, look to those times that God has helped you. And is there an event in your life that really built up your faith in the truth that God is our helper? Most of us have some experiences we can share with each other about how good God is, how faithful God is, how God is our helper. And he does help us on our journey through life. May this be a blessing to you. Thank you. God bless the writer of Psalms, the psalmist, to share these things with us, these truths that can benefit and bless our relationship with God Almighty. Amen.